Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome to Campervan Make It Home, a game where we get to decorate our campervan home and organise the things inside it. So we get to explore the van, we get to put things where we want them to go, we can drive to different locations because, you know, it's a van, it can move, that's kind of what it does, and as we play we learn more about what made our character embark on their campervan journey. It's got environmental storytelling, and I love environmental storytelling, so yes, we absolutely had to go and take a look at this. This one. Now this is the demo of the game, which is available on Steam right now as I record this, and as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description where you can go and check the game out a little bit more, and also have a go at the demo if you would like to. But anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Time to get in our camper van and make it home. Okie doke, here we go. So there's our lovely camper van. It does look very nice. I like the blue. Oh, okay, the blue is gone now. Okay, we've lost the blue, but we are now looking inside the camper van. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? We've got a number of things down here. I'm not quite sure what that's telling us. We've got a backpack, a t-shirt, some sort of frying pan. I don't quite know what that is. Oh, that's like a sandwich. That's like a half a sandwich type thing. A book, some sort of toothpaste and toothbrush arrangement, and then some outside furniture with a sort of a parasol type thing. Uh, okay. Right, that's fine. And then we're looking inside the camper van. Can we move? Oh, ah, right, okay. We can sort of float around. I mean, can we have a look around the outside of the camper van? I did like how it looked without the wall being cut off. There we go. There's our lovely camper van. Oh, there's more going on. Look, there's a bike over there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that our... Can we rotate? Yes, we can. This is where we sit when we're not in the camper van. And I think we have a hat. Oh, that's a very good... Oh, I like that. That's a very good hat. It's like a stripy rainbow hat. That is magnificent. And there we go. Got a couple of little chairs to sit on and just, you know, watch the world go by, drink some tea, read a lovely book, that kind of thing. Oh, that's very lovely. So there's a world outside the camper van. Look, there's a little tent over there, a kind of a hammock thing. Somebody else over here, many tents. And it looks very pretty. Where we are looks very lovely. Lots of sort of meadows going on and trees and things. Okay, right, back to the camper van. Where we are is very pretty. That's been established. But now let's get back to the camper van. So what do we have to do? So we're going to go inside the camper van. It looks, it looks okay. It looks a bit bereft of things. It looks a little bit sort of empty of furnishing. So, you know, we've got some you know, seats and a table and a side over here and there's a little sink. But there's nothing kind of around. There's no photos or pictures or kind of things on the table or knives or forks or anything hang off these. So is that what this is about? Is that what this is about? If we click that, do we get to open up a backpack and take things out? Is that what's happening here? Um, okay. Oh, we've got, what is that? Oh, it's a phone. It's a phone. Okay. So we're taking things out of the backpack and then we're sort of putting them around the camper van. Okay, I mean, the phone would make sense on the table there. So there we go. We have a phone. Can we click to interact with things? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, right, we can we can open all of the things. Okay, can we open that? Yes, can we open that? Uh, oh, that's quite fun. Is that for shoes? That might be for shoes and socks and things, look, because they can sort of go into these little sort of, uh, these little pockets. So that's quite good. That, I assume is a fridge. Yeah, a little tiny fridge. Can we open up all the drawers? Oh my goodness me. Okay, yeah, we can open all the things. I mean, bear in mind the camper van is quite small. It's quite small. Let's not open all the things. Well, yeah, as we move around, we keep banging our shins on things. So, oh, hang on, there's something there as well. What was that? Something over here. Oh, there's a little, what is that? Like a I was going to say it's like a ladder, but it's not. I think it's just a separator between the kitchen bit and the seat over there. But there's another little kind of storage thing there. And also something there as well. Okay, right. There's plenty of places to put things in, in the camper van. Okie doke. Right. So, so far, we've put down one phone. Okay. So, if we click that again, what do we get out next? So, we get out a, a radio of some kind. Okay. Right. How do we rotate this then? What if I want to pick that up and rotate it round? Um, do we press R to rotate? Do we click and how do we how do we rotate things in this game? Do we suppose anybody? Is it right click? No. Okay. There must be a way to turn things around. Um, yeah, it looks like a little radio. It makes sense for the radio to go in the middle of the table, like so. Okay. Oh, hang on. What's that? What's that there? Is that some sort of rotating option? Oh. 
Oh, no, it's just going to spun things around for us. Oh, OK, that's handy then. That's handy to know. Uh, oh, hang on, what does that do then? That Oh, that puts the roof and such back on. There we go. So that's what the camper van looks like with all of the roof and the windows sort of intact. Oh, it's got a nice window at the top, look. Oh, that's quite nice. Um, and then, yes, we can go back inside and have a look around. Right, OK. So the big question now is how to rotate items. Um, ah, OK, right, I've found it. It's Q and E on the keyboard. OK, so if we put that, say, in fact, people might sit there. So if we put that just here, look, and then just hope that people don't knock it off. Let's pick that up and put it more there. And that can go more sort of in the middle. Um, OK, so all these things are going to be items that we can put down. Oh, look, that's kind of, that's filling up, look. I assume that's now saying, do you know what? Yeah, you've got a few items to go until you've sorted out all the things that come out of your backpack. OK, so pick another thing. That is, what is that? Some sort of camera, I think. Um, OK, that could possibly go in a cupboard. Uh, or could it go up there? Could it possibly go up here? That might be OK. I'm kind of seeing those cupboards there as maybe being where we keep sort of, although... I was thinking you keep plates and stuff up here, but I don't know how secure these are. If you're driving around in your camper van, because, you know, it's got an engine and wheels, it zooms about. If you've got plates and stuff in here, and then you make a particularly aggressive right turn, say, are they, or left turn, whichever around it's going to be, are the plates not going to slide out of the cupboard? Do these lock? I don't really know. My knowledge of the internal workings of these sort of cupboard mechanisms inside a camper van is very limited. But I don't know. I'd imagine if we put a load of plates in there and then you turned a corner quite sharply, everything would fall out and the plates would smash. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, let's click something different. We've done three backpack things. Let's click this just here. That is a bowl. OK, so now we do get into the question of where do we put these things? I'm going to put the bowl there for now. And then what about this? That's a food item of some kind. OK, so where would food items go? Uh, let's press that because then it can spin us around here. There is something over here. Oh, ah, no, okay. That's a bin, that's where the bins go. And then in here, we've got, oh, okay. That looks like where cutlery will go. So knives and forks and spoons and everything else, and I assume drinking glasses can go in there. Okay, right, that's handy. This still doesn't help me work out where to put bowls and things. I'm not entirely sure. Another food thing, okay. We could get all the food things out, look. Uh, oh, that is, what is that? Uh, a pizza of some kind? Is that a pizza? Um, oh, that, that looks like it's probably going to go on the table. So somebody's been sat here, they've got themselves a nice kind of drink and they're looking on their phone and just chilling out. That's okay. Um, and then we've got whatever that, oh, that's like a, a pre-packed sandwich type thing. Uh, okay, that can go over there, look. So our character is over here. And they've had a lovely, they've had a trip to, I don't know, some sort of cafe or something. And they've picked up a sandwich, they've picked up a drink, and then they're on their phone. Maybe they're just know, sending messages, sending pictures of where they are to family. And they've got the radio on. I quite like that. Um, we'll get another food item out. That is, that is, oh, we're going to turn it around that way. We're going to pretend it's tea. That's clearly tea, of course. That is, okay, now I think we're getting into ingredients. So maybe they could go up here. I'm going to assume that putting things up here is fine. We're just going to make that assumption. When we finish our next sort of journey, we're going to assume that the cupboards are somehow lockable and that all the things inside are going to remain inside. We're not going to get to where we're going next and then walk in here and just find broken crockery and flour and broken everything and fizzy drinks all over the place. So we're going to take that and we're going to put that into there. I think that's flour. And then we've got ourselves... Something similar as well, potentially. I'm not quite sure what that is, but okay. Does it go back a bit more like that? Yeah, there we go. That is, I don't know what that is. I like the fact you can zoom in quite a lot to things. You do sort of clip through things. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure. That implies it's, is that noodles of some kind? Is that like packaged noodles? Oh no, that's rice. That's not flour, that's rice and that's noodles. Oh, okay. That's good. I like all of these things. Um, that is, uh, yeah, that's that's bean juice, isn't it? We're going to put that there. We're going to put, put the bean juice there. This is another thing, which I don't know what it is, but it's a packet of something. So we're going to put it with the other packets of stuff. 
Then we've got, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, I, now I've put stuff on the top. No, that's not going to work. What is that? That is, oh, it's like a, it's a, a bag of crisps or something. Okay, right, we'll put them in there. We'll sort out all the food. Okay, that can go into there. Look, this is all fine. That is a gigantic tin of tomatoes, potentially. Okay, this is all a kind of ingredient stuff. Some sort of seasoning spice type thing. Another bit of seasoning just there. Got some more. That looks more, that might be pepper. That might be some sort of herbs. That could be chili, sort of flakes or something. And then we've got, I don't know what that is, but it's got a drink thing on it. So I assume it's to do with the drink. So we'll put that over there. And then we've got, oh, here we go. Yeah, then we've got like, I assume that's like a little sort of uh, a carafe. Is that of olive oil? Again, I'm going to assume the cupboard locks because the last thing we want is to go, ah, we've arrived to our beautiful destination. We're going to have a lovely time in the camper van and then come in and just find it covered in olive oil <laughs> and bits of noodle and chili flakes. So we're going to assume they shut. Um, and then, ah, that looks like chocolate. Okay, so we've got a couple of snacky bits at the front. That is a bottle of water. We'll put the bottle of water down there. In fact, would that go well in the fridge? And then we've got one, oh, hang on, that could go in there. One solitary apple. Oh, and a banana. Okay, hang on, hang on. No, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, the banana, the banana can't go in that basket, which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping for it to go in that basket. Um, ah, bother. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I wanted it to go in there. That was going to be our fruit basket. Uh, okay, do you know what? Do you know what? They're having the banana. They're having a delicious fruit snack as well, look. Because health is important. That's what's happening. And then we've got ourselves a bag of lemons, is that? Something happened over there. What was that? A bag of lemons, I think. But again, they don't fit in there, unfortunately. Okay, move the bowl. Put the lemons into the corner. Just pop them into the corner. And then open the fridge. Um, and then can we pick that up? and put that in the door. There we go, wonderful. We still do have, hang on, open the fridge. Let's grab that um, sort of pizza thing. I, I can't move it anymore. Pick up, pick that up, there we go. Can that go in there? Yeah, tuck that in the back, keep that refrigerated. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to, I'll grab the water again, put the water back. And then yeah, I've got three soda drinks, sort of three fizzy drinks. Uh, for now, let's put them in there. Let's make sure they're nice and cold. And then over here, look, let's put that just there. So maybe there were two people here. I mean, there are two chairs outside, which would imply that there are two people on this journey. So one of them's had, do you know what we could do? Let's take the apple and put it over here. So the person over there had a sandwich and some sort of drink over there. Don't quite know what it is, but well, they've had that and a banana. And the person here wasn't feeling quite so peckish. Maybe they had a gigantic big breakfast or something. So for lunch, they just had a nice drink and and an apple because, you know, yay for health and everything. Okay, let's shut that door there. Something happened. Oh, we've got a new thing. We have a new thing. A new type of item has appeared because we finished off the other one. Oh, okay, right. That's quite exciting. I like that. Um, Let's work our way through. I mean, the clothes should be okay. The clothes should be fine. Um, I mean, yeah, what else can we click on? Can we click on the individual? Oh, we can click on the hangers and move them around. Okay, I don't quite know why we'd want to move the hangers around specifically because you know, they're not going to go anywhere else except on that rail. But okay, that's fine. Um, is there anything else? I mean, do we need to do stuff on the outside? Is there stuff to click on that reveals secrets? The game did imply that we can click around and kind of uncover mysteries and things. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, can we click on the hat? Can we click on the hat? Oh, hang on. That we just clicked on. I clicked on that flower, and it, that, that's shiny. What's this? What's this about? Why is that shiny? What even is that? A oh, it's a necklace with a big kind of moon thing on it. Can we click that? Oh, hang on. We're uncovering secret things. Uh, how do we go and work out what the secret things are that we've just found? Uh, there is a thing up here that's lit up. Hang on. My life journey. Oh. We're finding secret things. Okay, so we found ourselves that, oh, this is where we can go. So we've taken that look and we've kind of, I don't know, like done a, what do they call it? Like a plant pressing thing. So that's now in our little sort of, our journal. So we're down here then. So it looks like 
in the different areas. You can go to a sort of a mountainy one. Is that cold? Potentially a snowy one. And then kind of a very foresty sort of one. There's different areas. Okay, that's quite fun. And there we go. Oh, and then we click this and oh, there we go. It's on there now. So we've kind of kept it as part of this. Okay, so now they're not here anymore. So is that is that good? Have we put them back? Hang on, have we put them back? Is it now back over here? No, okay, so we've kind of put them into our memory book in a more permanent sort of way. I mean, is there anything else we can click on? Are there other things that we're supposed to click on? I've got no idea. What about the bike? No, not the bike. We can't go nearer to that tent thing, which is a bit of a shame. Something over there just lit up, I'm fairly sure. Is it something over here? Something over here? Yeah, there, what's this? There is... Uh, there's some tools around here. So have we been doing maintenance on the camper van possibly? But we just picked up whatever that was. I don't know what that was, but we've picked it up, which I suppose is a good thing. Let's go and find out what it was. It is, uh, where do we go for that? Just there. We picked up a postcard. Is that what that is? Postcard. Oh, and then it appears in here, look. Right. Lovely. There we go. So we're sort of completing that little sort of uh, that little sort of memory book type thing as we go along. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. There's something there. Do we click that? Um, yeah, look at that. There's like a little sort of a lake or a, a river, possibly. Not quite sure. The light just kind of shimmering off the water, looking very pretty. Mountains in the distance. That's very nice. Um, OK, we should go back to doing some camper van stuff, but it looks wonderful. It looks very nice indeed. Yeah, it's a lovely, very pretty, and as we've seen, a very laid back game. There's no time limits or anything. There's nothing kind of going quickly. There's a storm on the way to the camper van. Get on with it. So yeah, it's all fine. Um, oh, how long have those controls been down there? I didn't notice those at all. <laughs> I feel like I should have noticed those. Oh, I think it, oh, okay. Yes, these are just sort of, I can do this with the mouse and keyboard, but okay, that's fine. They're quite handy. That's quite useful. Okay, back we go into the camper van. Uh, let's do clothes. Let's do clothes, shall we? So we've got a, what is that? A folded, uh, like a, oh, it's like a, it's like a sort of a jumper type thing. Okay, that can go at the top. That can go in there. And the next one is a shoe. Okay, right, the shoes. Can the shoes go? Kind of want to stack them up, if you like. Can we, does that rotate the thing? No, it doesn't rotate the objects, bother. Um, okay, maybe not there then. Can we put the shoes at the bottom like this? Can we do that? So put that shoe, which foot is that? Okay, so like that. So put that shoe there. I hope the other shoe now comes out as a pair. There we go. Right, so I've got some shoes and then we've got, oh my word, we have a spectacular hat. Look at the hat, that's brilliant. What a hat that is. Okay, I like that hat. Then we've got some jeans by the look of it. Okay, we'll put them there. And then we've got, aha, right, more shoes. Uh, I'd say that's probably for that foot, is it? And then we've got the matching shoe, wonderful. Then we've got another sort of thing. We just pile that up on there, that's all fine. And a, hang on, right, so, ah, Right, we can apply them to the hangers. Oh, that's quite, do you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. There we go. Um, although, hang on. Oh, I thought that was, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. A minute. I've, I've done, the, I've made this complicated. All of a sudden, I'm going to take that off and put that there. So we shall have sort of jeans and things over there. So trousery things there. And then sort of tops just there, if you like. And then we've got another one. Oh, that's more of like a sort of a, a sort of a sweat, not sweatshirt, but more of a hoodie type thing. And then we've got uh, another jumper. Are we going to run out of hangers? That is, ah, here we go. That's what this is going to be for, is it then? That looks like, is that socks? That might be socks, possibly. Okay, right. We're going to go through some socks. Um, okay, right. So we'll just pile up some socks over here. Oh, I like those. I've got little flowers on. That's quite nice. Uh, yeah, okay, keep piling these up. I'm assuming they're socks. Then, then, ah, here we go. What's this? We've got something slightly different. That is, I can't see what it is without it going to the hang. Put it there. Okay, right. Pants. 
underpants. There we go. Right, pop a pair of knickers onto there. And then we're going to have more of these, I imagine. Yes, okay. I mean, they could go in a pile. They could just sort of pile up like that, because that's sort of organised. Oh, that's a shoe. That's not going to go with the other things. Um, Okay, put a shoe there. And, oh, hang on. I was expecting the other shoe to come out, I think. What is that? That is... Uh, what is that? I'm not quite sure what that is. It's got stringy bits on it. Some sort of... I don't know what that is. And now I feel like people are going to be going, it's obviously this pen. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, I don't know what that is. Is it like a bikini top type thing? I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm going to put it there. And maybe it is. Maybe it's like a... Hang on. I'll click on that as well. It's got a band wrap. Is that just to keep it from sort of, I don't know, keep it in place? I'm going to admit I don't entirely know what that is, but it's all fun. And then we've got a, a green version of the same thing. Okay, I'm going to assume that's some sort of, some sort of like bikini wear or something. I don't know. Then we've got some fantabulous glasses, which is good. So can they go in these drawers? Are they not allowed to go in the drawer? Oh, they can go in that drawer there. There's not enough room. Oh, crikey. There's not enough room to go in that drawer or that drawer. Uh, okay. Do you know what? We will put those over here. Look. In fact, maybe let's put them on the side here. Look. So we can easily grab them. Yeah. Like that. And then we've got one fine. We've got one hanger left. <laughs> there we go. Have we got anything else? Ah, botherations. Okay. We're going to have to put some stuff up there then. And then we've got ah the other shoe. Right, okay, so now we've cleared that out, another category has appeared. What's this arrow going to do, by the way? I'm going to press this arrow and see what happens. Oh, they're finished things. Okay, right. Um, let's, I mean, there can't be that much in the way of um, sort of toiletries. There's going to be you know, toothbrush, toothpaste, soap, I imagine, but we can probably complete that one. Let's close a few things, actually. It's getting a little bit, getting a bit sort of busy around here. So let's close that. Ooh. There's a little... Oh, hang on. What's that? What's this? I feel like that should do something. What? It's got a clicky thing on it. What, oh, hang on. What's that? It's a shower. A shower has just appeared. <laughs> okay. Right. That's that's where they... That's where you have a shower in the camper van. Well, I never knew that. There we go. Look. And that just pops back down, does it? Oh, well, that's quite marvellous, isn't it? There we go. Um... Right, let's go through these then. Let's get these done. So we have, um, what what is that exactly? That is, that's a comb. Okay, uh, maybe that could go up here, look, because the sink is here. So maybe we can keep sort of toiletry things up here. That might be a good idea. So pop the comb into there. And then we've got, uh, yeah, like a hair clip, sort of, uh, not hair clip, but one of those things. You put it in your hair and then we've got, oh no, some, this is makeup, isn't it? That's, that's a makeup. That's one makeup. And then that's a different type of makeup. Can we stack that? I'm sure it's fine. And then we've got, that looks like lipstick. I know what that is. There we go. Look, and that's bigger lipstick. I don't know what that is. <laughs> just more lipstick. It's just bigger. And then we've got, Okay, some sort of, what is that? Oh, there we go. Like sort of sanitary pad things. Okay, put those over there. And then we've got, rotate it around. Then we have tampons. Okay, so we're kind of getting a picture of our character. So I think, I mean, it's not, I don't think we're playing as just one character because over here, there are two chairs and there's another chair over there. I mean, we might be on our own. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm, I think, are we traveling as two or just one? I do not know, but I would say the main focus of our character is that yes they are a lady because we have various kind of a sanitary product things going on so here we go so we'll have this right toothbrush i mean again i kind of thought we can put it here and they can stand here before they're going to do their teeth and just reach up and grab the stuff we don't want it out here because you're going to cook here so you don't want to be cooking like a lovely bolognese and then have it splattering bolognese all over your toothbrush because that would be a bit weird so we'll put the toothbrush do you know what we're going to put it at a jaunty angle, like so. There we go. And then the toothpaste can go at a similarly jaunty angle. Hooray for the jaunty. Um, one thing I don't know 
is where's where's the loo? Where where does one go to the toilet in a camper van? I'm not entirely sure. We found the shower. We found the shower, but I don't know where the toilet is. I'm not quite sure how that works in a camper van. Or do you just have to find a site where there is like a suitable toilet arrangement or something? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Let's carry on going through these things. Um, ah, then we have toilet roll. Okay, again, that begs the question, where's the toilet? <laughs> where is the toilet on a camper van? I don't, I don't know where it is. Uh, that we can click that. That brings the shower up. I'm assuming you don't go in the shower. Um, there must be something else to click. Oh, hang on. What's that? We can click on that, can we? There's, there's a thing which implies that we should be able to click on. Look, that sort of does something. What's that doing? I don't know. Why is that lighting up as though we're supposed to be able to interact with it somehow? Uh, are we supposed to drag it out of the way? Are we supposed to double click it? I don't know. Oh, there's something there's something on this seat thing, on this seating arrangement. The seats, do the seats fold out and change? Um, I mean, yeah, you've got to go to sleep somewhere. So I assume, does this bit become a bed? I'm going to assume that becomes a bed. We'll shut that for now. Um, yeah, I don't know. What does that... I don't know what those three dots do with that. Might bring the menu up, actually, possibly. Um, okay. So do we need to click something on the outside? No. Okay, go back onto the inside view. To do the shower, we right-click. And the shower goes in and out by right-clicking. Okay, so I would expect the right-click thing to be the same over here as well. But it doesn't appear to be the case. But I think, yeah, look, the, the table. Is it because there's stuff on the table? Does this bit change if we take the stuff off the table? Oh, now I don't know. Now, hang on, there's something at the, what's that? There's some th there's steps leading up to, do we click the steps? Do we click the bottom of the table? I'm going to take things off the table. I'm going to take all these things off the table that we meticulously placed earlier. And we're going to rotate it round. Hang on. Like so. So that can go just there. The glasses can go just there. I forgot about the hat. I kind of forgot about that hat. Sorry, hat. You are magnificent. You can go in there for now. There you go. Shut the shut the door. Anytime you like. Shut, oh, hang on. I've got the shower in the way. I want to shut the door. There we go. Um, yeah, the glasses can go over there as well. In front of that. Uh, and then... Okay, that can go over here with that couple of drinks a uh, bit of fruit we'll have fruit corner then over there that's fine so there we go yay for fruit corner and then we've got the sort of pre-packed sandwich thing there and the phone can go over there and the bog roll can go just there and then does this oh it's become a bed it's become a bed with a with a fluffy sort of thingamajig like a uh what is that like it's a big cushiony thing looks like a big paw right Okay. Oh, that's very good. That is very good. It still doesn't answer the question of where is the toilet. I'm not entirely sure where the toilet is. <laughs> How does one go to the toilet on a camper van? Uh, does anybody have any ideas? I don't know where it would be. Where do we put the toilet roll? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you don't go on a camper van. Maybe that's kind of the point. Maybe you, yeah, you pull up at a location like where we are now and then they have toilets there and you take your own you take your own toilet roll. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to open up. The toilet roll can stack up in the corner in there. It's fine. Have we got more toilet roll? I would like to think we bought more than one. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Right. Yes. We bought more than one lot. Oh, crikey. Yes. We are well stocked. Oh, okay. Right. We've planned ahead. That is uh, some sort of deodorant, possibly. Some sort of like antiperspirant deodorant stuff. Then we've got... Ah, right. That can go down there because that's soap. So we'll put that just there. And then that is I'm not quite sure what. Ah, this might be for shower stuff. That might be some sort of shampoo or whatever. Um, that could also be something similar. Hang on. But then we've got, oh, we've got many. Okay. I don't know what all of these things are. <laughs> is one of them washing up liquid? Uh, I'm not quite... They all just look like soap 
things with dispensers at the top. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I also don't know what that is. That is a, a pot of something. I don't know what that's a pot of. We're going to put that in there as well. Uh, maybe move those out of the way for a second. And can that pot fit there? Uh, no. I suspect maybe the jauntiness of the um, of the toothbrush and the toothpaste is causing issues. I think they're taking up too much room. Do you know what? You might have to be less jaunty. I do apologise for the lack of jaunt. Um, that can go just there. That'll do. All right. Can they tuck around the edge? Yes. Okay. Right, that's fine. That can move a bit closer. Okay, right. I think we've nearly done the toiletry stuff. That that looks like a shower thing to me. That looks like a shower thing to me. Hang on, put it on the floor for now. Move that out of the way. Put that in like that. And potentially the final thing is a... Oh, it's a mirror. It's a mirror. Right. Uh, I mean, where, where does one put that? I don't know where that should go. I'm going to put it... It can't go up there. Can it go on the bed? For now, no, but then if we're going to kick it off the bed and it's going to smash and that's going to be awful. Let's put it th um, here for now. <laughs> it's not going to remain there. That's a stupid place for it. And then we've got, what's that? Oh, a pair of, oh, like nail scissors. Okay, that can go in there. And then we've got ourselves, uh, I don't know what that is either. What's that? I'm not quite sure what that is, but it looks like a toiletry thing, so it can go in there. Yay. And then the final thing is, is that a towel, possibly? Can that go? Where does that go? That'll have to go on the bed. That'll just have to go on the bed. Oh, no, hang on. Is it a... What is that? Is it a towel? Or is it a mat? Oh, I think it's more of a mat you stand on when you get out the shower, possibly. So maybe you do your shower... And then you stand on that mat to kind of get dry. Although we haven't got any towels. Uh, oh, that's done. Okay, right. That's finished. Um, so, yes, right. We have to put some of these things elsewhere. I don't know which one is washing up liquid and which one isn't. And which one should go in the shower. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll just try and cram as many things as we can over there. And they can stay there. Okay, right. Close that. There we go. Another thing is done. I mean, maybe... We've got a couple of what look like outsidey things now. We've done a, a little bit of inside work on the camper van. Maybe let's go and look around the outside. Let's begin with some lovely garden furniture. Okay, ah, there's not many of these. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, oh, it's another chair. It's a chair, ah, which has popped out, which is brilliant. Okay, yeah, we'll put that there. They're under the shade of the tree because, you know, they don't want to get you know too, too sunburned or whatever. That's quite nice. And then, oh, and then... We have a lovely parasol type thing. Okay, I like that. And then, oh, a little a little sort of picnic rug almost. I mean, can we put that under there? So maybe people could sit on the floor and have some food or whatever. And then we've got, oh, it's like a little, oh, yes, I like that. It's like a little sort of, um, hang on, can we come around this way? Come around this way. That could go next to our chair, look. So we could be sat on our chair and we could have drinks and things on that. And we could reach out and just you know, have a drink and then put it back down. That can be our little sort of outside table. And then we've got this as well for outside stuff. <gasps> it might not necessarily be outside stuff. Is that a plant I see? Oh, yes. Okay, right. We've got plants. The best game. Right, there we go. Please tell me we have more plants. Oh, we have. We've got another plant. Okay, I don't even know what that is. That's going to go on this shelf. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's lovely and it's planted and I like it. Um, oh, it's like a, it, are these cactuses, cacti, whatever. Okay, yeah, right. We'll have two up there. I do want to plant down here because that's going to be quite nice. Um, I do ideally want to put it in that corner, but I think are other things getting in the way. We're going to move that out of the way. Uh, I think they are. We're going to move that out of the way. Away with you. There are many things which aren't properly located yet. But uh, yeah, we'll put that in that corner. And then, yes, these drinks can kind of go with that, with the phone. Okay, uh, we still have a bowl, which isn't properly placed. And this mirror isn't properly placed either. I, mean, I don't know where that should go. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Do you know what? Can we put it in here? Would it fit in there somewhere? I don't think it would. I think it's too big. Um, can it go in here? Oh, it could actually. Hang on. Is there room? Why can't we open the door? 
Why can't I put... Oh, hang on. That thing's in the way. That thing is in the way. Uh, okay, we'll put... We have to get dry in a different location now because otherwise we can't open the door. Um, could we put that in here somewhere? Could we possibly put it in here? Could... Come on. Come on. Please let us put it... It's too big. I think it's too big to go in these bits. It might have to go here. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to put a shoe just there and a shoe just there, which is not ideal. Oh, no, we're still not put the shoe just there. Oh, that's not in the right place, is it? Hang on, like that. And then, aha, right, yes, that can go in there. That can sort of tuck at the back like that. Um, I mean, could we fit, could we fit both shoes back in here in a slightly wonky sort of fashion? No. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, never mind. We'll have one shoe there and the other shoe there. Okay, right, shut that. There we go. That looks much better. All sorted. Um, and then, yeah, the final planty thing is oh, like a little sort of succulent thing. That's what they'd call that, isn't it? We'll put that next to the radio. Okay, I like the fact that we have lots of plants. That's magnificent. Um, okay, what do we go for next? What are we going to work our way through? What's this? Just books, I imagine. Is that what that is? Ah, okay, yes, we can just sort of pile up some books over here. Um, can we look at what they are? That's got a moon on the front. Okay, what was that one? That's got, uh, hang on a minute, bring that round. Flowers and such, okay. And the green one has, oh, like butterflies and insects and things. And bees, it's got a bee, hooray, best animals. Okay, so there, yeah, we're learning about sort of nature and natural things. And then the final book is i don't know what that is but okay right so another book goes just there okay only four books oh okay i thought we might have slightly more books now but okay though uh, and then it looks like yeah we've got potentially some games more kitchen stuff and stuff from our backpack i mean let's mix things up let's get something out of the backpack um oh hang on that looks like a diary of some kind okay that can go on the bed we're going to keep the bed down we're going to keep the bed down. I like that. So we're going to get... No, could that go up here? Could that go up here? Uh, no, it remains flat. It doesn't do what those books did and kind of stack. Okay, so there is our diary. And then what else can we get out of the backpack? We've got, I mean, a pen. Okay, yep, makes perfect sense. Goes with the diary. I like it. Very good. And then another pen. Okay, two pens to go with it. And then, okay, yep. And then a little kind of eraser rubber type thing. Ah, pencil case. Can we open the pencil case and put, can we put the pens inside? Would that make sense? Um, potentially, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we can do that. We do need to put these somewhere, I feel. Can it go up there? Oh, it can go on there. Can we rotate it? No. Okay, but we could put that up. There. Hang on. If we put that toward the front, look. And then, could we then grab these and they could go behind it? No. They're going to roll off there. I don't feel like that's the best place for it. We need we need more surfaces. <laughs> it turns out the camper vans don't have a lot of flat surfaces for storage. Unless, could we put it in there? Would it fit? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Right, yes, it can fit into here. Because we don't need all of that for kitchen stuff, I want to thought. There we go. So if we want to do some uh, impromptu sort of journaling or something, we can just reach down from the bed and grab that. Yeah, okay, I like that. Right, next backpack thing is... Ah, keys. Okay, very important. They would probably go well near to a phone. There we go. Right, the next thing is is uh is that another phone i think yes that's another phone which does then imply maybe that we have got two people is it another phone um i mean that's a phone or is that like a portable maybe that's like a battery bank type thing that might be like a battery charging bank actually i'm not quite sure it doesn't i thought it might have been a phone but face down but i think now no maybe it's not a phone that's definitely a phone. I think that's like a battery bank, like a portable battery thing. Okay, we'll put that there. That can go into this drawer. That can go into there if it fits. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. And then we've got... Ah, right. We have a laptop. Okay, so shut that. Have we got room in there for a laptop? No. No, we haven't. That is... Is that the... 
Is that the toilet? Right. Okay. <laughs> I, that can't be the... That's not a toilet. That It looks a little bit... It looks marginally toilety. I, is that the toilet? That can't... It is. Okay. How... That looks monstrously uncomfortable. That's not how that works, is it? I, I don't know much about camper vans. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um... The toilet roll, should it not go in there? Should, are we allowed to, can we put the toilet roll into that blue box thing down there? Can we do that? I kind of feel like that. <laughs> oh no, I feel like I've made an unpleasant discovery. Oh no, yeah, that's where that's supposed to go. Okay, nope, there we go. I've learned something new today. I've learned something new um, and slightly undesirable, but there we go. Yep, that's fine. If that's how it works in a camper van, that's how it works in a camper van. Um, they appear to be floating, which is surprising. Um, yeah, how's that How's that working then? How are they floating? And that one's gone to the bottom. I don't fully... Do you know what? It, we're just going to shut that because it's a bit weird. The whole toilet setup is a bit strange. Uh, we'll have that like that and then just pop that in like that. And we're going to shut that. We're going to shut that. We're going to shut... Okay, we can't shut it because the toilet roll is sticking out the top. Right, hang on. Let me go and sort out the toilet roll. <laughs> it should be more toward the um, toward the bottom, like the other one. is. I mean, saying the toilet roll needs to be more toward the bottom is appropriate in many ways. But I didn't mean, like, toward that bottom. I meant more toward the bottom of this box. But, um, yeah, for some reason... There we go. Like that, look. That ah, There we go. Look, right. Drop that in and... Have we got room for another one? Um, I can't rotate round anymore. <laughs> I don't think I can rotate round anymore. Um, is that okay? Or is that not going to shut? Botherations. Okay, do you know what? You can be a spare and you can go up here. You can be the spare toilet roll. There we go. Right, and now can we shut that? No. Why can't we shut this? What? Oh no, have I, is the toilet roll not supposed to go in there? Maybe the toilet roll isn't supposed to go in there. Um, okay, no, but now I can't, I can't get it out now either. Oh, what a, oh, okay, I've, I've done something terrible here. Hang on, let me undo the terrible thing. Let me try and get the toilet roll back out of it. Oh dear, what have we done? Okay, I've repositioned the toilet roll so it's sitting a bit higher in that blue box. I'm not quite sure how that works. Because to me, it looks like they're sort of flying around. But there we go. So they fit in like that. And it looks to me like there is room for the other one. So do you know what? We shall free up a little bit of room in there. And close that again, please. And we shall try to put that in, in the right location. And then does that shut? Yes, it does. Okay. Okay, right. So that's that now dealt with. Um, okay, what would we... Ah, there was a laptop. There was a laptop. Okay, I mean, the laptop can go i mean i don't know where we're going to put all these things can it go i'm a bit concerned about a lack of space for kitchen items is all i'm thinking i don't quite know oh that's never going to fit into there okay the laptop at the minute can go onto the bed it can go onto the bed for now and then i think we haven't got much left then we've got um what is that oh is it like a, a switch case or something have they got a switch in there? Okay, that's quite fun. We'll put that on there for now. And then possibly the final thing. Ah, there's our book. Okay, that is important. We want to keep that nice and safe. It can't go in there, unfortunately. Okay, never mind. That again can go on the bed for now until we find out where we've got room for other things. And then the final thing out the backpack. Oh, is the backpack. Ah, right, okay. Um, I mean, for now... That can go, in fact, you know what? That would make sense for it to go in the corner over there. Look, there we go. Right, so all we've got left now is kitchen stuff. And then I assume that's some sort of games, which is going to be exciting. So we're going to leave that until the end. Not that I'm saying that, you know, knives and forks and spoons aren't exciting, but I think there's going to be a lot of these. So, right, bowls. Stack up bowls like so. This is going to be fine. Oh, we've got many bowls. There is a, there's a lot of bowls going on. Ah, right, here we go. Now we're going to get into where can we put all of our kitchen stuff. We have got an entirely empty thing just there and three drawers down here as well. So, oh, oh, hang on. That looks like it's for, that's like a cutlery divider thing, isn't it? For spoons, knives, forks, everything else. Um, okay, so what's that? 
What's all this for? <laughs> I don't know what that's for then. I assume that was what that was all for. Uh, okay, we're learning things about camper vans. It's all great. Uh, right, so another kind of saucepan thing. They're going to have to go up here. They're going to have to go up there because they're quite big. So, uh, yeah, if we put those in here, uh, like so, that's not, I can't really get a good angle on that. There we go. And then that one could go, say, like that. So they're trying to sort of, can one sit inside the other? That's what we do in our kitchen to save space in the cupboards. We would put that on top of that one, which might be frowned upon in the sort of cooking utensil community, but it's fine. That's what we do. Right, a gigantic pot type thing, cooking pot, a lid. Okay, yeah, put the lids on the things to save space. That would make sense. Um, a lid for that one. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's good. Right. A drinking glass. So does that go down here? Aha, right, yes. I've managed to successfully work something out. So are we now going to get a collection of these? Yes, I imagine we are. Came in a set of six. Oh, I didn't put it down properly. Set of six, I imagine. So pop that in and pop that in. Does it open and close fine? Yes, it does. Right, and then we've got... What is that? Oh, like um, kitchen roll type stuff. Um... Ideally, that'd go over here somewhere. We can put... <laughs> this is not a good place for something that is flammable. No, that's a terrible idea. We'll put that there, look. That's fine. Right, and then we've got... Ah, here we go. The important things. Mugs. Have we got a kettle? I mean, yeah, that's also an equally important thing that we need to find out. We need to find out if we have a kettle. Okay, mugs. Uh, they can't go in that one. They can go in here. Mugs can go in here because these are hugely important. That's how we drink our tea. And of course, that's everything. So there we go. And then we've got a little, what is that? A tray of some kind? Uh, I don't know what that is. We'll shut, we'll shut this. Away with you for now. That can go in the bottom mix. I don't know what that is. So that can just tuck into there. And then we've got a, oh, like a tea towel sort of arrangement. Okay, that's fine. Um... Normally, you'd hang that off of something. You know, we hang it off the... Yeah, like that. There you go. I was going to say hang it off the kind of oven handle type thing. Uh, and then we've got... Oh, there's another one. We have a, a backup one. Like, which makes sense. I get that. That makes sense. So put that in there. Uh, yeah, they're quite bright and colourful and exciting. That's good. Uh, then we've got... Uh... Oh, like a... Where am I going to put this? <laughs> That's huge. That's like a, what do you, you put that on the top and put the pans on that? Okay, I don't know where I'm going to put that. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why have we, but we live in a camper van. Why are we bought a paella dish? <laughs> We've got, there's no way we can store this thing. That's insane. Why have we bought that with us? Who made that decision? Um, nothing can go in there because of the, the bins. I mean, can they, can it go up here? Can we sort of tilt it sideways? No. Why have we bought these two gigantic things? Okay, that seems a little bit daft. Um, and then we've got... Oh, like a little pestle and mortar thing. Okay, yeah, that can go in here. That's okay. And then we've got a... What is that? That is just a jar of something or other. Okay, that can go over there. Push that to the back a bit, actually. There we go. Uh, that can kind of go there. Maybe we need to rejig this ever so... Oh, the bowls. I forgot about the bowls. They just sat on the side at the minute. I need to move them out of the way. Move bowls. Move. There we go. Going to move that over. And move those over. Because I suspect we're going to get more of these. Uh, oh, yeah. That's like a milk jug. Yeah. Okay. So this is now sort of hot drink making paraphernalia. So, okay. That can go in like that. That can go next to that. I'm going to assume that's like sugar or something. Uh, and then we've got some very lovely uh, oven gloves. Which, oh no, again, would imply... I, I want to put them on the oven thing. Can they go up here? No. Uh, okay, can they go in here? Sure, they could go on top of that thing. <laughs> come on, game. Come on, let us put... Right, they can go on the floor. That's where they live now. They live on the floor. Uh, right, here we go. Right, this is going to be quite good. So, uh, yeah, we'll have forks. We'll have, I don't know, spoons, knives in the middle... Then we've got, yay, big stabby knife, big stabby knife. And then scissors can go into there. And then we've got a box of, 
drinking straws? Do we really need drinking straws when we push for space? I would say that's not our top priority thing to bring with us, but uh, okay, apparently we've bought some drinking straws. Uh, okay, do you know what? They can um, they can go in too. We'll just do a slight rejig of that. They could just sort of go in there like that. Just tuck along the side. There we go. Oh, now I, oh, now I can't move the chocolate. Right, there we go. I finally got to move the chocolate around. So that's now all positioned slightly better in there. I am still a bit concerned about the giant kind of paella dish thing because, I mean... That's going to have to go in there. But then where do we put all the other things? I don't know. And then we've got uh, a, what is that? Like a little, is that like a little sort of Tupperware pot type thing? That's like a sort of a food storage pot thing. Okay, that's fine. And then we've got another one, but they can stack, which is brilliant. So yet they can all just kind of stack in there. Um, okay, does that still shut? Bother. Right. Oh no, it does shut. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> We can never open this drawer ever again. I've taken the tray out somehow. Uh, I need to take out... Oh, I've, I've, okay. Okay, I've, I've caused some technical issues. Hang on, hang on. Can we Can we do that? I'm going to click, click it. I'm going to click on the thing until we're able to bring that out. Yay, there we go. <laughs> right, maybe just stack them two by two. Like that. Okay, oh no. It's this in the way, isn't it? That's in the way. Oh, okay. No, this was all fine. Everything was fine. It was the, the big, great big paella dish, the unnecessary paella dish that was in the way. Okay, right. There we go. Wonderful. And we haven't got many of these left. There's not many sort of, um, sort of cooking items left. That can go on there for now. The bowls do need to live somewhere. Um, I mean, is that space for bowls? Uh, ah, yes. Bowl storage. Okay, well, are they plates or bowls? They're, they're deep plates, possibly. But okay, so that can go into there, which is good. I should not, can't go into there. Okay, never mind. Um, and then the chopping board can go here, because that's just like a nice standard thing, isn't it? Do you know what? It can kind of be centered over the top of the fridge. Um, and then we've got... Okay, we're going to pretend this is a teapot and not just a coffee-making thingamajig. Okay, yay for the uh, teapot. Um... And then we brought with us the world's biggest toaster. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> what else have we brought with us? A uh, round thing. Uh, oh, is that where you put like hot pans and things? That might be where you put hot pans and such like to stop sort of get your side getting burnt. Um, okay. We're going to move the plant over to here. Okay. So the plant can go just there. Yay for the plant. Um, and then we're going to put that just we can't put that there for some reason okay we've got some slight oh, now we can't put it back where it was either some slight technical issues what else is there from the cooking thing oh another one of those oh good and then we've probably got oh we got a third one do they stack no they don't brilliant okay don't tell me there's a okay they do stack now um and then one final box of okay that goes in it whatever it is that's going to go into here Apart from we have to do some more rearranging of things. Hang on, let me just rearrange more things, dearie me. There we go. Right, that's in. And it's all fine. Okay, so do that. Is this the final cooking thing? If we put that down? Yes. Okay, so that's the final cooking thing. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I assume it's linked to this. It's sort of, um, yeah, it's all this over here, isn't it? I mean, what can we put into here? What can go in there? Can we put that in there? Ah, oh, we can. We can put that in there. Okay, I shouldn't... Oh, the... Aha, right. Can they go into there? Can, can we take that out and put these things in? I don't know if that's what's supposed... Oh, no, that doesn't go into there. Botherations. Okay, never mind. Right, they can go into there. I don't think that's what that's supposed to be for, but it fits and it's okay. So it will do for now. Um, I feel like we're supposed to be hanging some... Oh, hangy location. Yes. Okay. And can we hang that as well? Uh, oh, hang on. That's just changed. That's changed into a sideways hangy thing. If we put it near a wall. Uh, why is that? Why is that changed to that over there? Look. Uh, oh, we hang it off a handle. Is that what we're doing? Hang it off a handle of some kind? No. Okay, I'm a bit confused. I don't fully understand what's going on with that. Do you know what? You can go back in there. Back into there with you. Um, 
So yes, we have got a few things which are not properly located, like the gigantic toaster. Again, we're limited for space. Why have we bought the world's biggest toaster? These open. These open up and you can put things in them. Okay. Hang on a minute. Can we... Can we store this? Can we put that in there and show... <gasps> Perfect. What about these weird things? Can we store those in there? Please say we can. Please, yes. Do a bit of stacking with them. Just anywhere. Literally put them anywhere. I'm not bothered where they go. Just away somewhere. That apparently has to stack like that. Whatever. There we go. Right. Okay. There's like secret storage things all over the place around here. That is magnificent. Right. Okay. So now we need to figure out where to put the gigantic toaster. Um, I mean, maybe we move the fruit around again. I kind of feel like the lemons should go in there. I feel like the fruit should be able to go into there. I mean, can it hang on that thing? No, okay, never mind. Uh, right, gigantic toaster. You, you might have to go that way where the handle is sort of facing this. Way. You pop just there. And oh, we really are pushed for space. We are very, I mean, they've got stuff on lining up over here as well. Look. Um, okay, right, here we go. Let's, we have got room at the top actually. There's a bit of room up there. Maybe we could put some of these things. Uh, the milk jug could go up there. And maybe even these things, look. Just pop them out of the way for now. Like that and that. If that could... Oh, this is this is not organised overly optimally, shall we say. Like that. That could go like that. That could go like that. Yes. Okay, and then we can have the fruit... Or at least the, the apple. The apple can go in that basket. Right. There we go. And do you know what? That can go in there as well. There we go. Right. So we've sorted that little bit out. Let's just shut all the drawer things and the cupboards and everything else for now. Why are you not? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and I've picked up a thing. I didn't mean to do that. Shut the... There we go. Right. Yay. Right. What's the problem with this? Oh, that pan sticking. Oh, no. Okay, right, hang on. Let me go and rejig this. We can fit the pan in. The pan's sticking out the edge of the sort of cupboard side. Okay, right, hang on. Let me go and do some rejigging. Okay, there we go. Everything's rejigged, and I think that should now close. Wonderful. So, let's see what's in this final category here. So, I assume that's like games we've bought to entertain ourselves, and I am pretty sure now that we are on our own. We're on our own on our camper van journey. There is one toothbrush, there's one set of keys, there's one phone. So I think we're making this journey on our own. So let's see what we've got to entertain us. Um, it doesn't look like there's that much stuff, which I suppose is quite good. So we've got a, what is that, board game? Or like, um, is that like Ludo or something? It looks like a board game where you move your kind of pieces around and try and do a full circuit and get back into the middle or something. So, okay, so... The only thing is, where are we going to put these? We have, we've not really got any room left to put things like this. Where's the other thing? And then we've got, um, oh, a game which looks remarkably similar to Scrabble, but it's probably different because of copyright reasons. I mean, could we potentially put things in here? Could we potentially put things? No, because those things are there. Are the, oh, hang on. Hang on. That just stacked. That just stacked up. Oh, do they stack up nicely? Apart from this one isn't, this one's just sort of being a rebel. It's just being all rebellious and being, go, no, I'm not going to stack. Away with you and your stacking dreams. Do we have to put you at the bottom? Okay, we're just going to move you over. That one's being very weird. Um, yeah, look, it doesn't sort of go where you would expect it to go. It goes on the floor, fine. So can that then go in there? Aha, right, okay. So pop that into... Oh, they go back quite a long way. And then a game there as well. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, ah! Oo-woo! <laughs> Which is definitely not Uno for copyright reasons. And possibly the final thing is... Are you really... R right. You've bought a... Th okay, this is a surprise. You... <laughs> Okay, a thing has happened. I'm, I will deal with the thing in a second. I'm more surprised by um by this. Where do you think we're going to put this, for goodness sake? Okay, I mean, for now, we're, we're going to have to keep moving that around a lot. But that's that doesn't fit anywhere. That this is this is an odd choice of thing to bring. But okay, um, 
Right, and then could we also put our book down there and our little kind of switch console thing? That, I think, takes up all the room inside there. Unless, can we turn it sideways and then fit... The laptop doesn't fit in that one, but what if we took things from here and rejigged things a bit? Would that fit on this end bit? Yes. Okay, so that might fit there. And then we could possibly pick that up and put that at the end there. Okay, ooh woo might fit there. Does that fit on top? Yes. Okay, okay, this is this is looking good. So now the laptop might fit in there with that little kind of switch thing, which is brilliant. Okay, there we go. I think we are done. I mean, there might be some questionable choices as to where we've put things, but you know, we're quite pushed on space. We haven't got loads of room for everything. Um, it is a bit weird that we've decided to bring with us a gigantic big... I'm going to assume it's a guitar case. Can we right-click it? Oh, hang on. What's that? We've got... What is that? A thing has come out. What is this? Um, it's got a one on it and some shapes... Okay, we've got a certificate, possibly. Is that like a sort of a first tier sort of guitar certificate or something? Is it a guitar? Or is it, yeah, it looks like a guitar. I was thinking it's like a violin or something, but no, I think it is. Oh, oh, hang on. It opens. It opens. Um, Put it there and open that up. <gasps> Can we get the guitar? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, right, we've got the guitar out. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to play you Wonderwall. Oh, that thing's still on the floor. Hang on, let me play you Wonderwall in a second when I figure out where to put this slightly infuriating thingamajig. Um, where can we put the infuriating thingamajig? Oh, that's in the way now, isn't it? Okay. Um, I think, do you know what? We're going to put that back in its case because we don't want it to get damaged. So you go back into there and we shall pop you back over there and we will do up that little pocket thing. There we go, okay. I mean, can we right click on other things? Like the sandwiches or anything? I didn't realize that some things were, some of the items were interactive like that. Um, see, we've just got this thing left now. This kind of weird sort of matte thing. Uh, I mean, I don't think it can go in there anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure out why we can't do anything with that one individual mat. Why is that one being a pain? It sort of stacks up. You have to put it underneath the other. <laughs> what? Why would it stack like this game? Oh, this that's just very odd. I'm just, there we go. Right, that's out of the way. Out of sight, out of mind. That's a bit weird. And I think that's it. I think that's it. We've sorted everything out. And yes, as we just said, some things might be in slightly questionable places, but it's fine. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we're on our own. We're on our own on a fun journey in our camper van. So now we press that to, I don't know, do something else. Um, do you know what? I quite like what we've done with it. I'm quite happy with the inside. I like our little kind of bit on the outside. So um, yeah, okay, let's press that and see what happens. Are you done organizing your camper van? Yes, I am. Okay, so my life journey. And there we go, there are all the things. Oh, it's taking a picture. It's got a picture of the actual arrangement that we've done. There's the toaster and the sunglasses and the little radio and the oven gloves hanging up. Oh, that's quite fun. That's quite fun. I like that. Um, okay. And then, yeah, we found the flowers. We found the necklace thing. And we found that little kind of whatever that is, a postcard type thing. There's some diagrams of the camper van. Yep, that's what it looks like. Yep, it's got roof and wheels. Yep, good. So now, do we click that? Is that kind of it? Oh, and there we go. The demo comes to a close, but I imagine, yeah, it looks like when you go to the next bit, we've got, we go to a sort of a mountainy bit, I assume. I'm going to assume that we sort of pick up some new items along the way. We're going to pick up some items as we go. So maybe we have to kind of rejig things because, of course, we've just put loads of things in the camper van. It's unlikely that we're going to turn up at a new place and go, right, I'm going to reorganize everything again. So I think, yeah, it'll... um. And probably just like pick up a few items that are relevant to the area that we've just gone to. So souvenirs, or maybe we need different things. If we're going somewhere which is a bit chillier, maybe we kind of get rid of summer clothes and we have, I don't know, more wintry things and lots of like big hats and gloves and welly boots and all that kind of stuff. So I imagine the game does change depending on the area that you're in. 
Um, but yeah, so I think, obviously you need to play the full game to get the full story, but I mean, we don't know quite why we were heading out on our own in a camper van, but we're clearly on our own and we've taken, you know, some good stuff. We've taken some games to entertain ourselves and we had a laptop to keep in touch with people, got the phone, got the power bank thing. So yeah, we had all the essentials, I think. We had all the essentials to go out there, but um, yeah, we didn't find out overly that much about why we were there. We didn't find out exactly what was going on. But I imagine, yes, as you play the later levels that aren't in the demo, you might get some more clues as to what's happening. One thing I didn't think to check was, can you open the, can you open the diary? There was a diary, but I didn't open the diary up, which is a little bit of a shame. What if there's something in there that gives us some clues? I do not know. But do you know what? There we go. That can be for another time, possibly. Because, yes, we have come to the end of the demo, of course, as you can see on the screen. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. Our journey right now has come to an end with our lovely camper van. So there we go. That was the demo of Camper Van Make It Home. And I really enjoyed that. I've had a lot of fun playing. I think it's quite safe to say that it does take a lot of inspiration from unpacking, does Camper Van Make It Home, which is no bad thing because unpacking is a completely amazing game. But I do think that it's quite similar in its core game mechanic, if you like. So the idea that you turn up at a location and then you have a load of items that you have to put away in that location, both unpacking and this game, share that kind of key game mechanic, if you like. However, I do think the story is going to unravel a little bit differently. So in unpacking, you start off young and then you work your way through your life. So many years pass between the different kind of locations that you go to in unpacking. Whereas I think in Camper Van Make It Home, the time span is going to be shorter and it's more about the tale that you go on and the locations you visit. So as we said earlier, you might go to a cold location and you need to get rid of all your t-shirts and get in lots of nice big kind of woolly jumpers and bobble hats and things. And then you might go to a beach. So you're going to get your sandals and your bikinis and your sun cream out and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's going to be a little bit different in how the story plays out. But at its core, it's quite similar. And you know, I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. I like that. That's a good thing because unpacking is good. And you know what? Camper van make it home is good as well. I've had a really lovely time. I do notice on the menu screen here, there are animals. Down here, there's a dog. Over there, there's a sort of a gecko type thing. And over there, there's a cat. So maybe on later levels, you could also pick yourself up a pet as well, which would be very exciting indeed. So do you know what? I think maybe we might come back to this. I suspect we're going to come back to it because I would like to play a little bit more of the story. I don't think we found out loads about our character, apart from that they're a woman and they're on their own in a camper van. And, you know, they want to keep in touch with people. They've got a laptop and a phone and all that kind of stuff. And they like games, got some board games, and they've got a little kind of diary going on. But other than that, I don't think we found out loads about them. Oh, and they can play the guitar, or they're trying to learn to play the guitar. So you know, I'd like to sort of see a little bit more about the character and how that develops as well. So possibly when it goes into full sort of release, we might pop back to this and just have a little further look. But yeah, we shall wrap things up for now with our look at the demo. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. Yay! Okay, exciting things are happening. Where does Gigantic Big Stabby Knife live? They're D&D &D nerd and they've got a dice tower and they've got character sheets and they've got some dice. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at my best life. Oh my goodness me. So much undergarmentage. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Praise be the kettle has been uncovered.